So in this video, we're talking about how you can rate a clip within Final Cut Pro 10. And I find this is just one little kind of workflow tip to really help you sift through hundreds of clips. So anyway, let's get into Final Cut Pro 10 and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we're in Final Cut and this is gonna be a super quick tutorial. Let's say you want an easy way of just favoriting your clips and getting rid of the bad ones. So let's just say, you know, we really like this clip here of a seagull, but we hate this clip here of the church. You know, it's actually an okay clip. But all you need to do, there's a little secret keyboard shortcut and it's just the F key. And this is gonna favorite your clip. So we're gonna favorite that one. Let's just say we like this clip here. We're gonna favorite that one as well. Oops, I'm select it first. Press F and you'll see you get a little green line. Now, let's just say we wanna reject this clip. Select it and hit the delete key and you'll see it gets a little red line above it. Now, you, you might be saying, well, that's no good, it's still there. And the reason for that is because at the top here, you have all clips selected. What you wanna do is change this and you wanna put hide rejected, which you can also get to by pressing Control and H. So if we do that, you can now see it's hidden the rejected clips. And it's just important to know it hasn't deleted the clip. So if you need to go back to them, maybe think, oh, I did need that shot that I saw where we pan down on the church. You can get back to it by going back here and even going to rejected clips. You can see the clips that you've rejected. But I just like this because it's an easy way of just going through 100 clips and quickly bam, 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 bam. You've got your favorite clips there and you can get to work on your project. So there we go. You can see by how rating a clip can just really help you sift through hundreds of clips and it just makes your workflow much faster. So we've actually got a few videos in this series about little tips you can do to improve your workflow and it's perfect if you're new to Final Cut Pro 10. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video which is all about the colored lines you see in Final Cut Pro on your clips. What do they mean? Keep watching to find out.